In today's video, we are going to share everything you need to know to create a website using ChatGPT in 2024. At the filming of this video, ChatGPT 4.0 just came out and it is better than any iteration prior to it. It is faster, more intuitive, and has the functionality you need to set up a website in under an hour. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video because you are not going to want to miss any of the information we have for you today. All right, let's get right into it. Briefly, let's discuss the tools that you are going to need to do this. The first one is a ChatGPT account. There's a free version of ChatGPT and a paid version. I use the paid version because you don't have a query count and it gives you access to the most recent features. That's $20 per month. But like I said, you can just use the free version if you like. The next is a web hosting plan. Now you can get this for as little as $3 per month with a company that we're going to show you later on in the video. And lastly, you'll need a domain name. And fortunately with the company that we're going to show you here, you will also get a free year of domain hosting. Those are the three things that you're going to need in this video so you can get your website up and running. Now, the last thing that you need to do before getting started here is to prep what you want your website to to look like. This doesn't need to be perfect, but just put a basic structure to your website or at least think about the different pages that you want to have on your website. So this can include your homepage, your about page, your testimonials. If you want to have a blog on your page, you can include that here as well. Think about the structure that you're trying to go for, look at some websites that you like, and then we can sit down and go through ChatGPT and figure it all out. The first thing that you're going to need to do is go to chatgpt.com and create your account. Let's go ahead and click on the bottom left corner here and we can sign up. Go ahead and enter your email here and then click continue. Now go ahead and enter a password and then click continue. Again. Once you verify your email, you're going to be all set up. Next, it's just going to ask you your full name and birthday. And then once you're finished with that, click agree. And just like that, you're in the ChatGPT platform and you can click OK, let's go. Now we can try out ChatGPT 4.0. And now that you're in the dashboard, you can click here on the top left hand corner and see that ChatGPT Plus is an option that you can purchase. Once you click on that, you can see for $20 per month, you can get an upgraded plan with all of the latest features. So that's actually the plan that I have and that's what we're going to be using today. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to tell ChatGPT a little bit about our company and then we're going to give it the necessary pages that we want it to create for our website. For the sake of this video, let's say that we are a company offering consulting services on how to start a business. So let's go ahead and type this out, give it as much information as we possibly can, and then also ask it to create these certain pages that we want for our website. So let's read what we wrote about our website. We said create a website for our company StartupWise. StartupWise is a business that helps entrepreneurs build long lasting businesses. We do this by providing tutorials and classes online on how to scale and grow your business effectively. So that's what our website is about just briefly. And then we said for our website, create a homepage, about page, testimonial page, and services page. The last thing that we will tell ChatGPT here is something about the style that we want it to create. Let's say that we want to create a young professional style for the voice or tone. So we'll say create the site in a young professional tone. Once we do that, let's see what it gives us. So let's briefly take a look at what it created for us. If we scroll back to the top here, we can see it gave us a welcome page here where it tells us a little bit about what our mission is. So welcome to Startup Wise. We we empower entrepreneurs with knowledge and tools. This is great. Let's explore some of the services we provide. We provide in-depth tutorials, expert-led classes, and personalized coaching. There's a call to action as well. Get started today. That's amazing too. Now on the About Us page, it tells us a little bit about our story, our values, and our team. This is perfect. It's a great framework to start off of. Then there's a testimonials page here, and we have some testimonial by John Doe, CEO of Tech Solutions. There's a couple other ones here that you can go through as well. And then it brings us to our services page, which is a little bit more of an in-depth view of of the services that we offer. So in-depth tutorials, expert-led classes, personalized coaching, all that looks great. We also have business resources and you can sign up here today. Amazing, this is everything that we need to get started framing out our website. Now that we have our website framed out and we have all the components that we think we will need for each page, let's go ahead and have it create some content for us as well. So let's say that we're going to post a blog or we're going to have articles on our website about how to start businesses. So let's tell it create ideas for blog or article posts for our website. Create 300 word blog posts about advice for entrepreneurs. Let's go ahead and see what that gives us. Okay, this is awesome. Look what it gave us. So it gave us 10 ideas for our blog for the first part of the question that we asked it. Let's look at some of these. How to develop a winning business plan. That's a great topic. The importance of networking for entrepreneurs. That can also be a great blog or article topic. Balancing work and life as an entrepreneur. That looks good. Building a strong brand identity. So all of these will actually be great ideas for blog posts or article posts in the future. Let's take a look now at some of the blog posts that it wrote for us. The first blog post it wrote for us is how to develop a winning business plan. This is a great topic. It gives a little intro here and it only made 300 words. So we could have asked it to do 500 words, which actually we'll show you here in a second. It gave us a two sentence summary here at the beginning. And then for each point, it just wrote two or three sentences. Some of the things in a great business plan are an executive summary, company description, market analysis, organization management, all of these different things. That looks good. Let's go ahead and tell ChatGBT now that we want to go a little bit further on this blog post. We're going to tell it that we want to expand it to 
500 words and to go a little bit more in depth on every single point. Now we're going to tell ChatGPT the first blog post about how to develop a winning business plan is great. Increase the article to 500 words and expand each section to include at least five sentences. And then we're going to say something about the tone. So we said, make the tone of the article good for young professionals. Let's see what this spits out. Now that it's finished, let's take a look. We see that we have a very similar intro so we can ask it to write a little bit more on our intro if we think we need that. But then every single one of the points has five sentences now and it's written in a paragraph form instead of bullet points. This looks great. So this is a great way to generate content for your blog posts using ChatGPT. Another great way to use ChatGPT for your websites is to research SEO. Now, if you don't know what SEO is, that is just search engine optimization. Now you can get very into the weeds here with SEO and we have a bunch of other videos on the channel that you can check out if you want to do that. But basically just a broad overview, the point of SEO is to increase your ranking in search on Google. For example, if we go to entrepreneurship resources on Google and we scroll down, we look at Purdue Global. They have 35 resources for entrepreneurs. This is an example of a website that is ranking highly in search. They have the number one spot. To do this, they have amazing keywords that they're ranking for in search. They have a bunch of backlinks of credible websites to their website and a bunch of other things that we won't go into too much detail about right now. But just know that organically, you can increase your ranking in search by optimizing your SEO. Now, the one way that we're going to show you how to do that today in ChatGPT is to do some keyword research. Let's just go ahead and ask ChatGPT what are some good keywords to use so that we can rank highly in search. The question that we asked it is what are some good keywords to use so we can rank higher in Google search for entrepreneurship resources? And actually we'll put that in quotes here. Let's go ahead and see what it's going to tell us here. Okay, great. Let's take a look at this. So it gave us some primary keywords that we should be using as well as some related keywords. Primary keywords are the main words and phrases that you are targeting in your SEO. These primary keywords that it came up with are entrepreneurship resources, businesses resources for entrepreneurs, startup resources, and entrepreneur resources. Some related keywords that are secondary really are entrepreneurship tools, business planning resources, entrepreneurship guides, small business resources, startup tools, and so on. It's also giving us some more targeted keyword phrases that might be a little bit easier to rank for in search because maybe not as many high ranking companies have these keywords. So some of those would be best entrepreneurship resources for startups, free resources for entrepreneurs, comprehensive guide to entrepreneurship resources, and so on. Also at the end, which is really neat about ChatGPT, it gave us some additional tips on SEO. So let's take a look at these. One of the tips it gave us is actually something we talked a little bit about earlier, which is backlinking. It says here, aim to get backlinks from reputable websites in the entrepreneurship and business niche. This helps improve your domain authority and search ranking. So that was one of the things we talked about and it gives you a couple other tips here that are very helpful. The next question I'm asking it are, what are some more targeted SEO terms in this niche that have less competition? So let's see what that spits out. ChatGPT actually gave us some long tail keywords again, and it seemed to have changed up some of the options here. It also gave us some more niche specific terms like startup mentorship programs. And then it gave us additional targeted terms like tech startup resources or women entrepreneur support groups. And then again, it gave us some more SEO tips for using these keywords. So ChatGPT is a great option to help you with your SEO and making sure that you have the best possible keywords on your website. Now that we've got all the content with ChatGPT, let's go ahead and set up our domain and web hosting. There's so many different AI website builders that you can choose from now, but the one that we're going to show you today is one of our favorite websites and that is Hostinger. With Hostinger's AI website builder, it makes the process so seamless and super simple. And also you can get Hostinger's web hosting service for under $35 for your first year of web hosting, which is an insane deal. That's why we love Hostinger and we recommend it to all our friends and viewers of this channel because they have some of the lowest web hosting prices in the business. So we'll leave the link to Hostinger down below in the description. Go ahead and click on that and then we can start up here together. And also if you do use our link, we do get a small referral fee at no additional cost to you. So thank you so much for that. It really helps us keep creating free content like this for you. Now that we're at the landing page for Hostinger, you can see for under $3 a month, we get two months for free and we get web hosting for an entire year. Also, you'll note that there is a 30 day money back guarantee. So this is really at no risk to you to try it out. And yes, I've actually used the refund process personally for one of my websites in the past and it's very seamless and they get you your money back ASAP. Once you're ready, let's go ahead and click on claim deal here and we can review some of the plans. There's a premium plan for $2.99 per month. Then there's a business plan for $3.99 per month. And then there is a cloud startup plan for $9 and 99 cents per month. Now, when you're just getting started out, we recommend the premium plan, but let's just go ahead and go over some of the options and features here so that you know what you're getting. With this premium plan, you get standard performance as well as 100 websites, 100 gigs of SSD storage, weekly backups. You also get unlimited free SSL, unlimited bandwidth, a free email, and a free domain, which is a value of $9.99. If you'd like some of the more advanced WordPress and hosting or web builder tools, then you're going to need to upgrade to the business plan. Those tools are very helpful for e-commerce platforms. So if you're building one of those, then you might want to consider that. 
and if we go over to security service and support here you'll see that all three options have a 30-day money-back guarantee they all have 99.9 percent .9 guaranteed uptime they all have global data centers and 24 7 customer support so go ahead and choose which plan is right for you but when you're just getting started out the premium plan is going to be more than enough and in the future if you think you need more storage or more functionality you can always choose the business or cloud startup plan let's go ahead and click add to cart for the premium option here once we've done that we have to choose a period for our hosting now the only one that we don't recommend you choose is the one month at 11.99 per month it's just really expensive per month to do that option so we recommend that you go with something like the 12 month or the 24 month for the sake of this video let's go with the 12 month and that's going to come in at three dollars and 19 cents per month go ahead and create your account if you don't have one already then when we scroll down we can go ahead and enter our information here and you'll see that for 38 dollars and 28 cents per month we get 12 months of web hosting with hosting as we scroll down you'll see that that's a 73 percent plan discount but don't forget to click have a coupon code and type in our coupon code my first website when you do that you'll see that the plan decreases from 38 dollars to just under 35 dollars for the whole year of web hosting like we said earlier it's a great deal hostinger has literally some of the lowest prices in the business go ahead and enter your credit card information next and then also at the bottom here you'll see that 30 day money back guarantee that you can always use if you don't want to continue with your website once you're finished with that go ahead and click submit secure payment now that you've submitted your payment hostinger is going to ask you to set up your domain now your page might look a little bit different because we already have an account but yours should give you a free domain name here go ahead and select your domain name to see if it's available so we'll see that startupwise.net is available and for us we have to pay because we already have an account and we've already set everything up but yours should be free once you select that go ahead and click next it might have a couple more questions for you in between that and this page but finally it should bring you to a page that looks like this or the home page of hostinger once you've done that go ahead and click on websites in the top left hand corner and you're going to add your website here now we're going to use the hostinger website builder so let's click on that one now next we're going to select our plan we'll go ahead and choose that here you're going to only have one option there so just go ahead and choose your web hosting once you've done that it's going to direct us to the ai website builder with hostinger and now that we're all set up you'll see that we can start creating our website here let's go ahead and enter our brand name and we're going to choose the type of business that we are and then now is the important part we're going to go back to chat gpt and we're going to select some information here from our welcome section so let's go ahead and select that and we're going to paste that here in the description for our website now that we've done that you can either personalize the settings here to make the design more modern minimal or you can just say surprise me for now let's just go ahead and say minimal and then we're going to choose a color palette and once you're done with that you can submit it and it's going to create your website and now you can see that it created us a minimal looking website and we have some pages up here in the top right hand corner as well as our home page here as we scroll down you'll see they have some pictures a little bit about some of the services that we provide and there's a call to action button that people can start their journey with us here then we also have some of our testimonials here so everything looks good let's go ahead and edit our site in the top right hand corner here now we're not going to go into too much detail here because we have a ton of other videos on the channel that go into all the functionality of hostinger's ai website builder but i'm just going to show you a little bit about how to paste in the information that we got on ChatGPT into our website let's go ahead and go to the top here and we can click on our about section they have a nice little section right here that they've created for us on hosting our site but let's go ahead and choose the section that chat gpt generated for us so let's go back to chat gpt and go down to our about page and we can select all this information here so that we can post it on our site now that we've done that let's go ahead and click inside the box here and we can just paste everything here so it looks like some of the font got messed up so we will just click Control all and then we will change the text color to black there okay that looks good this looks a little bit weird having it all in one box here so we may want to separate it into separate boxes and put it throughout the rest of this page so it looks like here are some of our testimonials and this is the contact page where people can get in touch with us let's say we wanted to create another box over here we're going to go to the left hand side and click add element and put text and then we can drag this text up here all the way to the top okay so now we have our about section here let's say we want to put our story section over here on the left where we just made that new box so let's go ahead and select this our story section here we can cut it out and then just paste it right over here and it made our title the same font that it had earlier but let's just go ahead and decrease this okay great that looks like it matches this section over here let's go ahead and click in here and take out some of the space now let's say for the last section we want to have our meet our team section right across here and we want it to span the width of the page let's go ahead and create another text box here and we can go ahead and bring it up and once we've done that we can take this all the way to the edge of the page here and we can take this side to the other edge of the page and you'll notice here that you can center it based on when this aligns there it goes looks like it's centered here now we can just go ahead and take the meet our team section out of here and paste it in here and maybe we do want this header bigger but we want this section centered so we can do that and look at that so we can have all these sections on our about page and obviously this doesn't look exactly how you might want it but you can just go ahead and mess around with the template and the formatting here a couple other things that you can do in here on the left hand corner you can go ahead and change the website style so you can change all of the different colors for every different section of your page the ai builder 
Builder also has some great AI generators, writers, page generators, a bunch of other AI tools that will help you get your website off the ground. Not only can you preview the desktop version here, but you can also preview the mobile side if you just click the little cell phone here. Everything looks pretty good right now. Obviously, we want to make it a little bit more refined before we're going to publish it, but I think it'll be good for now. When you're ready to go live, just go ahead and click go live and your website will be up and running. That's everything we have for you today for how to create your website using ChatGPT in 2024. If you enjoyed this video and you got some value from it, please leave us a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell down below. This channel is dedicated to providing you free resources and tutorials to help start and grow your first website. If you're looking to create your first website and you still don't know where to get started, we actually created a free tool that we will also leave linked down below with the rest of the resources that we talked about in today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We wish you the best on your website building journey, and we will see you in the next video.